Okay, so let's talk about adding contacts into your eEdge database. After all, that's what eEdge is. It's your database, uh, and everybody at KW knows your database is your business, right? We've all been taught that. So um, when you log into mykw.kw.com, you're going to come to a screen that looks a little bit like this. You're going to want to click on New Leads. That takes you into your dashboard. Uh, your dashboard is where you want to be pretty much for everything. That home screen doesn't do a lot for you except um, show you a few advertisements and take you to the intranet, which is great. But what we want to do today is add contacts to our database. So if someone signs up on your website, they will automatically be added to your database. Todd Schweikert, for example, this guy right here in New Contacts, he came from my mobile app. So if people sign up on your mobile app or they sign up on your website, they're automatically added to your database. The thing is, is that when you come in, you have a whole bunch of people, or if you were previously um, with a different thing like Top Producer or um, Conversion or whatever you use, um, and you want to add your database contacts, this is how you do it. So after you get into your dashboard, you roll over contacts, and you see there's a bunch of options here. Add a contact is the way that you're going to add a single person to your uh, to your database and there's a lot of stuff in here um, first of all classify them however you want lead hot warm cold pending sold um, this is a classification system for us they don't know what they're classified as so it doesn't matter what you put them in do know this though if they're classified as a lead they will always appear on your home screen as a new contact so until they're taken out of lead status, they will always appear on your home screen as a new contact. So if you know that they're not a new contact, get them out of that. Take them out of that status and make them um, cold or you know sold or whatever, anything that rhymes. So you've got first name, last name. You've got um, phone numbers over here and addresses, email addresses over here. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff, though. Birthday, purchase anniversary. So if you close someone, you can put their purchase anniversary in right here. And uh, and it'll remind you every year to send them an email. Or it'll actually send out a postcard for you. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. If you sold them a house, obviously you know their address. Put it in here. Uh, if they have a wife or a husband, put them in here. If you're adding one contact and... Uh, it's it's a family member or a friend that's not looking for a house then you can just add their info and click save if it's somebody you met yesterday and they're like hey uh, I actually am looking for a house you can click on this um, little button right here that says check here to send welcome email to this contact that will actually send them an email it says hey I've added you to my website you have a free account you can access everything that's listed for sale in the Louisville MLS right now it gives them a username and password and lets them know that they can search on your website for free okay so obviously if they're looking for a house that's a good thing to check and here you can actually change the way that this reads if you don't like it it's a pretty good email the way it sits but if you want to uh, personalize it or do something different feel free to do that otherwise if you're just adding people that are not looking for uh, a house right now just don't check that box click save everything's good